Welcome back. And I got another box. Let's take a look. Welcome back to my channel. In today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at Transformers Kingdom Optimus Primal Upgrade Kit from Cool 3D. And if you're new around here, please remember to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and leave a comment. With that being said, let's get started. So, for this upgrade kit, it's going to come with this mask which reminds me of Inferno from Beast Wars. It's just every single time I look at it, that's what I think of. Um, not sure what it would do with Optimus Primal himself, but it comes with him. It comes with this gap filler for his chest. I'll show that off then. We do get his mace, and we'll take a closer look at that. It does have chains connected to it, so I think that's pretty neat. And then we get the extended barrels for his forearm blasters, like it looked like in the uh, Beast Wars cartoon. So I was excited just about these and the gap filler and this in particular. And then this piece right here is going to be more for a connection piece for the swords to turn it into like a staff with you know the swords on the end. So it's pretty cool. And you get uh, a pair of bananas. So I think that's pretty cool. So. Let's take a closer look at these pieces. And here we have the mace. And as you can see, it's pretty long. Decent size for an extra weapon for Optimus Primal here. It does remind you of the Beast Wars mace that he had from his previous toy. And it uh, looks pretty cool. like the molded detail here is best you can see it. I'm trying to get some light on there. There we go. As best as you can. I like the spikes on it as well. The eyes are just painted like black in the inside there a little bit. We got the nice molded detail there for the teeth. The mouth is open so there's a little bit of a gap there. I think that's pretty cool. And on the back it's just more of the rest of the skull. Then the rest of it, you know, you have the, the base of the weapon here. The handle. And then you can remove the skull because this turns into a peg piece and then there's a there's a hole there for it to peg in so like that but then also what you can do it has the chain here and you can get some pretty good range with this thing uh, the chain is just a basic simple linked it's not cheap or anything at least from what I can tell um, but this this part is metal this isn't cheap plastic or anything like that the Main thing is, I guess, to give Primal some more optimal range when he's fighting Megatron, since Megatron's so much bigger, and I can just swing this mace and crack him in the side of the head with it instead of getting as close as he needs to, just to keep himself protected. I think that's a pretty cool thing. And you can just wrap this chain around, and you can just readjust the links and everything, and just peg it in just like that, and you can just turn it the way you want it for him to hold and I think that's really cool it's a nice necessary accessory and next up I have the handle for that turns his swords into a staff and I want to see if I can get this in there alright so you can yeah a little bit of muscle I would say to get this in there but once you get that in there it's not so bad now you're going to unplug his swords from the back then you're going to plug these in yep they fit pretty snug yep and let's just line that up so the swords that way okay sorry it's a little awkward to get these on at first I'm actually doing this for the first try on camera with you so it's nothing you know, editing or anything like that. But uh, overall, it's pretty cool. You know, obviously you can just turn his wrist and kind of do it like a twirling thing or whatever like that. But pretty much he can go Darth Maul on anybody's ass with this thing. I think that's pretty cool. Um, definitely changes the way to use his swords. 
makes him more uh, effective fighter. Shows he has more uh, experience in different forms, of, different forms of combat and everything like that. I think that's a pretty cool and nice. It's really wide, so it's kind of hard to get that shot in there. But yeah, I like this. I like that piece, that little adapter, and it matches up with the swords with the paint color and everything. And next up we have the extended barrels for his forearm blasters here. And we're going to take a look to see if how these connect and everything like that. I'm doing it right on. Okay, so this is how they plug in and everything like that. So obviously during the transformation and everything, these unfortunately have to come off, which is not a deal breaker there. And then we got to get the other one in. So far, this set has been really cool. I haven't had anything really stand out. It's like a disappointment or anything like that, which is fantastic. But overall, now Optimus Primal could fire the bigger barrel blasters like you did from Beast Wars Season 1 to having blast effects being compatible with the extended barrels. I think that's very, really cool. They just pop right in, no issues whatsoever. And what we're going to do here is want to test another one, get one of Jeff Fires, and see if they go on, but I can see that they're a little wiggly on there. But for the most part, for the smaller ones, they will fit. So. Alright, this is the piece I was really looking forward to, and this is it. This is the gap filler for the chest here. It'll cover that up, and I think this just slots in like that, maybe? Or it goes in like this? I'm not sure yet, so bear with me. So something like that maybe. So when you're bringing them down, I think you have to lift that up. So you would just turn that up like that for the when you're going through the transformation and everything. Let's see. So that's going to cover up that gap right there and that is absolutely amazing that they're able to do it. So when you're going through the transformation then, I think this piece and we're going to test this on camera. I'm not going to do it off camera and just say hey it works. We're gonna do it together here. And so let's just lift his head up. This back piece just gotta get out of my way. We're not gonna go through the whole transformation, just enough to turn the head around, turn the chest, and see. So, okay, so we're gonna turn his head like that. We're gonna get gorilla mode, just like that. And we know that that has to extend out. All right, so then this just folds in, and you could probably, oh, hold on, primal. Turn that in. All right, that pops out pretty easily. That's not good. Let me try again. Maybe I didn't have it in all the way. Let me see here. Yeah, all right, that's in all the way now. So what we're gonna do, no, that just doesn't look right. All right. Dang. I'm back. That piece, what I did show in gorilla mode, that was the correct way. The problem is with this piece, as you can see, I just touched it and it went down because I can just force that down. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to show you. This piece has nothing, nothing really holding it in place. It just kind of just slides in, but then there's nothing there to secure it. So unfortunately, this feels like a deal breaker. Um, it may affect people deciding to purchase this set now because of this piece just not working. There is something I thought of off camera and where it slides in. And just so you know, for the gorilla mode where it was and I showed right before I wanted to go off camera, check it out. That was the correct way. It just, it just sticks out a little bit, but that's not a, that's not a big deal for me. Um, but this, I'm trying to get a good, good view of this 
right under here, see the gorilla head is right in my way, right under here and right under here is where this slides in. So I'm going to just do that. But it doesn't really, it just doesn't have enough to hold it there. Like, so if you go to transform it sometimes, it is going to fall out and so on and so forth. But it just slides, it just sits right there. So my thing is, I may glue that in and then I don't have to worry about it falling out or anything like that. But that's up to me. If you decide to do it, that's on your own risk. And the last two pieces. One, we got this mask, which... I don't know what this is even for. I've it looked it, honestly it looks to me like it's Inferno from Beast Wars. I, I could be wrong. I'm I'm not gonna go turn around and look up and see if this what this is even for. But apparently this is a mask that he can wear. I yeah. Um, it looks really detailed. I you know gotta give him credit on that. There must be a purpose for it. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. And yes, he does come with uh, two bananas, and they are together, versus as he falls down. We're just going to keep going at this point. The single banana, I got two single bananas from one of my previous upgrades for Optimus Primal. So you can check that out then. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. I think I'd rather go with the singles versus the bunch, but, you know, hey, either way, it's cool. Gorilla gotta have his bananas. Um, try and see if he can hold them. Not really, a, eh, yeah, yeah, kinda. And then this one just kinda, will just sit there just like that, like it's supposed to. Um, so, yeah, there's bananas. But the mask thing, it looks really cool. It's, like I said, a lot of detail. They... The red eyes there, that's not red paint. Let's take a look at this a little bit closer. Let's take this off of Primal's face there. Hopefully you didn't scratch him up. But that's red clear plastic in there. They decided to get that in there. A little smudged up on the left side here. But, hey, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. Primal's not going to be wearing this thing. So leave a comment down below if anybody knows what this thing is for. I don't. I wanted the rest of the accessories. This was just, just came with it. So, yeah, but it's cool. That's about all I got on that. My final thoughts on Transformers Kingdom Optimus Primal upgrade kit from Cool 3D. Overall, I think this mace is awesome. It's better than any of, any of the other 3D printed sets I've seen with this coming. I like, I like this one more than the other ones. Um, I like this center piece here, the handle. Uh, one thing is when I got this out of his hand, because this thing was like stuck in Primal's hand, it started chipping the paint on the handle. So what I might go ahead and do is just get this blue paint right off of it. So, And it was in Primal's hand right here, but there was a little bit of blue paint, which I do see some more. Um, I have to clean that out because I don't want that on him. Um, so that that's not really a deal breaker. It's just this handle is better off just being the plain old color that whatever it originally is looks like it's a gray um, So that's fine. Other than that, I think the the accessory to connect the weapons is Totally cool Next up we have this pretty cool looking Mask and it's Pretty cool So I got on that just not sure what it's for, other than I wear it on his face, but I've never seen him wear that. He comes with two bananas stuck together, which is nothing wrong with that. It's a gorilla. And then we have the forearm upgrades, which they pop right off. And they have to for the transformation, unfortunately. They can't go, they can't stay on for that, but hey, no big deal there. Not a problem. And finally, we have that gap filler here, which is loose as anything. And that kind of disappointed me a little bit more than any of the other accessories. I think this set overall is pretty cool. Um, the only way to fix this, and what I can think of, is to glue it on him, which I'm actually going to do off camera then. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, I'll show 
the differences then with pictures uh, by the end of this week, most likely. I'll glue that on and get it going. So, but at that that part doing it, do that at your own risk. Uh, yeah. So, overall, I think the set is very, very cool. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you for all my subscribers, helping me get to two, uh, 200 subscribers uh, for my goal so far for this year has already been beaten so I don't know what else to say then thank you and uh, that's gonna be it for the review thank you for watching and I'll be bringing more transformer content very soon